My name is Nancy Wynn and I work in academic advising. I'm in my third and final year on Staff Senate, my second as co-chair. Hello, my name is Tessa Wojcicki and I work in the office of the Vice Chancellor. This is my second and final year on Staff Senate and my first as co-chair. Hi, I'm Ilsa Rolf. I work in institutional advancement. This is my second and final year on Staff Senate. Hi, I'm Stuart Van Cleve and I work in the library. This is my second and final year on Staff Senate. Hi, I'm Janice Daines and I work in campus ministry. This is my first year on Staff Senate and I look forward to serving next year. I'm Deanna Davis. I work in the Division of Professional Studies as a program coordinator. This has been my first full year on Staff Senate. Hi, I'm Jackie Voigt and I work in athletics. This is my first year on Staff Senate and I'm looking forward to another year of service during the 21-22 school year. Hello, I'm Uriah Ward and I work in Student Financial Services. This has been my first year on Staff Senate and I'm excited about serving again in the 21-22 academic year. We are your 2020-2021 Staff Senators and we are all excited to welcome you to this year's Staff Appreciation Presentation. As this difficult academic year comes to a close, we recognize and celebrate the incredible work that has kept Augsburg running amid the challenges and heartbreak of the past year. We're so grateful that you're our colleagues and in the spirit of gratitude and recognition, we want to give our most sincere thanks to our custodial facility and information technology teams for all of the work to keep our communities safe and connected. This presentation recognizes one outstanding newcomer, five outstanding staff, and one outstanding department. We have also highlighted those who have recently celebrated work anniversaries between five years and 30 years, and those who have completed the diversity and inclusion certificate program in the last year. We want to congratulate each of the nominees. Reviewing nomination letters is one of the highlights of our work as staff senators. We learned so much about what it takes to make an institution and a community thrive. Thank you to our nominators for sending us videos and to university events for helping us put this virtual event together. Please enjoy the presentation and join us in congratulating each of this year's winners. We hope to see you all back on campus soon. Please take care of one another. Greetings and Welcome to this uh, second, we hope the last virtual staff recognition event. I wanna thank the Staff Senate and our university events and conference uh, staff for all the remarkable work in pulling together this production so that we can bring appropriate recognition to all of the staff who have worked so tirelessly and uh, sacrificially here over the last uh, 15 or so months uh, to be able to uh, help us navigate through this pandemic. I wanna say, um, Special word of uh, congratulation to all those who have been nominated for the staff awards and in particular today for those who received the awards. Uh, but I wanna take a step back and, uh, and really offer my uh, sincere thanks, gratitude to all of the staff at Augsburg who have um, just shown such courage and imagination and resilience uh, during this past, uh, past year. And you've probably heard me talk about the fact that I really see that Augsburg in some ways has lived at the intersection of three pandemics over this past uh, year. That is, first of all, of course, the COVID uh, pandemic, and then uh, the kind of economic disruptions that uh, many of us have felt in our lives and our families' lives, as well as th those of our students. Um, and then, of course, the racial reckoning that happened after the murder of George Floyd that had a particular impact um, on the Augsburg community and our neighborhood. And if I think about uh, the intersection of those pandemics, it's created all kinds of tensions and fears and anxiety and uh, exhaustion for, uh, for all of us. Um, and what makes me so proud is to know that uh, even in the midst of that, uh, with the sacrifices that you were making personally, that your families were making, uh, the needs that we had to pull back on salaries and uh, to uh, take away some benefits, uh, even in the midst of that, you kept our students at the heart of your work. And in so many ways, whether you're in facilities and maintenance, whether you're in admissions and enrollment, whether you're in advancement, whether you're in finance and administration, marketing, communications, uh, student affairs, academic affairs, wherever you uh, have yourself rooted at Augsburg, uh, you kept our students in front of you. And we come out of this year, this remarkable year, this unprecedented year, um, equipped, I believe, uh, with a foundation that will help us uh, really thrive 
uh, into the future. And, and though the next few months are still uncertain, I really do believe that we're at a point now where the work that has been done um, and what we've learned about ourselves and what we care most deeply about is actually going to position us for great strength uh, in the time ahead. So congratulations to all of you. Uh, it's a really great pleasure and honor for me to be with you even virtually uh, for this ceremony. And I look forward to um, a year from now when I hope uh, we can certainly be back together in person to celebrate the remarkable staff at Augsburg University. Thank you. Kathy, thank you for 35 years.
Kate Gray has been the sole career coach for all students for her short tenure at Augsburg University, and she has seen hundreds of students in one-on-one -on -one appointments and provided dozens of workshops and presentations to classrooms and athletic teams and student organizations. And I continually receive positive feedback from students and colleagues about Kate's collaborative attitude and her ability to provide critical information in a way that is relatable and impactful. What I have seen in Kate is her ability to build authentic relationships with others, which in turn establishes trust and the ability for others to maximize their strengths. And this ability to build authentic relationships is evident in her stepping into the role of managing the Stroman Peer Advisors. Kate has employed this skill of authentic relationship building with our student employees through her outreach and communication and listening. And it is no small task to be a new leader and guide a team in the midst of a global pandemic. And Kate did it extremely well. In addition, Kate led a number of projects to transition the Stroman Center into an office to provide virtual services during the pandemic. She built out our community Moodle site to provide videos and content on everything from how to write a resume to how to interview during the pandemic. And she helped to onboard a new volunteer career coach to expand our ability to serve more students. Even as a newcomer, Kate has already been able to create significant partnerships with a number of departments across campus. Augsburg Vice President of Equity and Inclusion, Joanne Reek, tapped her to be one of the select committee members for the new Sankofa Scholars Program. This program aims to dismantle anti-Black racism, racism, white supremacy, and other forms of oppression to support our BIPOC students. I am so grateful to have Kate as a colleague, and I'm overjoyed that she's being recognized with the Newcomer Award. Congratulations, Kate. everyone. I'm Nancy Gibol from the Center for Wellness and Counseling, and I have the honor and the pleasure today to celebrate Beth Carlson for her Outstanding Staff Award. Beth is well known on campus. She's a valued staff member in the Center for Wellness and Counseling, in Student Affairs, and she's known by staff faculty and students all over campus. She's been invited to present in academic classrooms on college mental health. She's collaborated with faculty in their professional development to learn about students and mental health. She's worked closely with departments all over the campus and provided resources for all of us. If you look at the Center for Wellness and Counseling um, homepage, you'll see the work of Beth Carlson. She's a, a tremendous resource to this campus and on the CWC staff. She's committed to equity and inclusion and it's very evident in all the resources that she's provided and in her own professional growth and development as well. She's had trusted relationships with colleagues and she's always striving to find ways to serve better students better. As a counselor and therapist at our, at our center, she is so well known and she her work is um, something that students so deeply appreciate and they so deeply appreciate her. She tries to grow all the time with her professional development opportunities. Beth is an exceptionally hardworking for, um, employee and she's exemplary in carrying out the mission of Augsburg University. For more than 20 years, she's provided mental health support to students through counseling, through crisis management, education on, educa on emotional health and well being. She's dedicated to provide leadership on issues related to health and students and learning in a healthy environment. And please look at her uh, CWC 
creations on, on CWC webpage. She's a leader at CWC, helped shape and improve the services of CWC, and she works tirelessly to develop the resources for all of us. I am so grateful for the partnership with Beth Carlson over 21 years and grateful to be able to honor her with the Outstanding Staff Award. So um, I want the entire community to recognize and to celebrate her. Thank you. Words that are embodied by a university pastor, the Reverend Babette Chapman. Pastor Babette has been inspirational, no doubt, across campus, but I, I want to lift up her presence on the university COVID response team. This team of faculty and staff meets three times a week on Zoom, and Pastor Babette has created a prayer preaching moment each week that strengthens this team of 10. It, I, I kid you not, it has become the favorite moment of the response team, so much so that if you miss that meeting, we have to record it and make sure you get that prayer preaching moment, those words of inspiration from Pastor Babette. It, she, she has this way to sort of name our, our vulnerabilities while empowering us to do the work together to tend safely to the well-being of this campus community in this time of pandemic. As the lead of our response team, Dr. Alicia Pella said, this is hard, exhaustive work. Pastor Babette has been a true blessing during this time for the response team, and I am eternally grateful. And you, Pastor Babette, is inspiration. This year's virtual 41st annual Advent Vespers was entitled, Come Now, Breath of God. I hope you were able to watch it. It's still available on YouTube. Pastor Babette provided really the grounding for this collaborative project with the music department as she fiercely and tenderly testified to the heartache of George Floyd's murder and his call on our freedom. With her testimony, the whole arc of the service pointed to the hope gifted and given in the Advent season, God's life-giving breath for the sake of all creation. With Pastor Babette's vision, our Vespers service communicated the enduring commitment and call of the church and of Augsburg to equity, inclusion, and the creation of the beloved community. Pastor Babette has passionately called us back to these truths as an institution. Pastor Babette is the bomb. But really where, where all the magic happens is with our students. Pastor Babette creates time and space to listen to the, to the needs, the, the anxieties, and the deep longings of our Augsburg students. I, I have watched Pastor Babette, comfort and equip students all within the same breath. She will hold them in their doubt and frustration, all the while working to just nudge them to claim their own personhood and God-given gift. She connects with students in ways that teach me to be a better pastor, a teacher, and a better staff this Augsburg community. Pastor Babette is relational. Congratulations to my co-pastor, colleague, and dear friend, Pastor Babette Chapman. Outstanding staff team. Thank you.
the great pleasure to share with you why Mike Fetting is one of the outstanding staff award recipients of the year. Mike Fetting has an unending reservoir of patience, politeness, and willingness to help. Mike is often the first voice encountered by angry family members, frustrated students, and others who are exasperated. Mike's voice is reassuring. He doesn't rush the individuals. He listens deeply and tries to get at the core of the issue so he can actually help them achieve what they need. From that point on, Mike is Mr. Ogsburg, e even though there is no such thing. Families call Mike to review us with their needs. They believe he dispenses financial aid awards, releases transcripts, dispatches DPS officers, and more. For those of you in the offices I just mentioned, please know that Mike always refers people to the appropriate offices, and they still call him for aid. Mike coordinates the Student Emergency Fund and informs students of their award. Some students see Mike as Augsburg's ATM. They call him, email him, ask about their status in the, in the queue. They call him, they email him, they ask him about their status in the queue. Mike sat in the Earnmort lobby this summer with a mask and gloves, waiting for students to come pick up cash. So he literally did dispense cash like an ATM. The final reason I want to share with you, of many more, uh, is one of heroism. This past summer, working with Augsburg's head angel, Mel Lee, Mike helped with the residence life move-in process. He worked on spreadsheets and told students when they could move in. He met with families on Saturdays and Sundays, when move-in was on Monday through Friday. He personally helped a student who had a physical limitation carry her belongings into Ernest Hall. Then an hour later, he moved her from Ernest to Anderson Hall because she made it clear she would not, could not live in Ernest. Mike smoothed over so many rough spots this summer that the city of Minneapolis wanted to hire him to, to cover over the potholes in the city. He is a smooth operator. Mike Fetting, Outstanding Staff Member of the Year Award, well-deserved. Hey Jack, congratulations on the award. We're so proud of you and thankful for all the work that you did over the last year and the example you set for all of us within the office. And so Rico over my shoulder and the rest of the staff wanna wish you congratulations. And so here they are. Outstanding staff member is the exact words that I used to describe Jack every day. He is personable, he is so kind, he is so good at what he does and he's such a team player. Congratulations Jack, you deserve it, I love you. Jack, congratulations on your win. You deserve it. Really looking forward to hearing your acceptance speech and remember, this is your Oscar moment. Congrats, Jack. You deserve it. I'm so happy for you, Jack. Congratulations. This is a very well-deserved reward. Um, you are, you know, so organized and methodical and you really understand the mission of Augsburg and you bring such spirit and personality to the role. So thank you. Congratulations, Jack. I can't think of anyone more deserving than you. You are always going above and beyond in your work and you are amazing. Congrats. Jack Hine, congratulations. You deserve so much more than just this award. And I hope to always be able to pour, provide that and support you as you go along. You're great. Thanks, Jack. Congratulations, Jack. You absolutely earned this award. You are an essential member of this team and this office would fall apart without you. Thank you so much. Congrats. Congratulations, Jack, on your win. You deserve it more than anyone else I know. This past year, having to work from home, we've had to switch everything in admissions to virtual, virtual tours, virtual events, and we could not have done that without you, your innovation, your creativity, and your hard work and efficiency in getting it all done in a timely manner. We are truly honored to have you in our office and congratulations on this award. Jack, congratulations on being selected Outstanding Staff of the Year. Very well deserved. Thank you so much for everything that you do to keep this office running. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations, Jack. You are MVP. This one's for you.
Kendall, Augsburg's Director of Marketing. It is with great pleasure that I announce Danielle Stepka as a recipient of an Outstanding Staff Award. Danielle has served the marketing department for the past seven years, and like many of you, I have been fortunate to call Danielle both a colleague and a friend. Danielle creates so much of what we picture when we think of Augsburg. She's a master of her work in graphic design and branding and visual communication, and more than once I've heard Danielle laugh about the fact that she can't take a walk from one side of campus to the other without doubling her to-do list. She literally gets stopped in her tracks by people she encounters to brainstorm projects. That's because staff and faculty view Danielle as an approachable partner in their work. She cares about what they care about, attracting students who are the right fit for Augsburg, making campus spaces look beautiful and unique, helping donors see why the university is a place that deserves their support, and creating resources that allow all of us to better serve students. Reflecting on my reasons for nominating Danielle, I thought about her effectiveness at Augsburg and her attitude when it comes to tackling tasks that are downright messy. Her strategic talents were even more evident these past many months during the pandemic. Danielle has been instrumental in the university's ability to move certain elements of her activities online and also to continue in-person activities in a safe manner. On top of her typical duties, Danielle walked every part of campus, took public health guidelines into account, and designed our COVID-19 signage. She created graphics for the quad to create a welcoming, bold outdoor venue for our community to gather at a time when so many of us felt far too alone. More recently, Danielle has been at the helm of much of our work underway to celebrate our students at both a virtual and in-person commencement. Something you may not know about Danielle is that she supervises graphic design students. She's the perfect person to model the detail orientation, respect, humility, and hard work required as these young people transition into full-time employment upon graduation. Not only does Danielle teach the students how to design, she coaches them on how to be professional communicators, expert time managers, and problem solvers. She's open to growing alongside her students and her colleagues, for that matter. Guiding and at the same time learning from all of our unique experiences and perspectives. Please join me in congratulating Danielle Stepka. She is indeed outstanding. It's now my pleasure to continue a tradition that we started just a couple of years ago where in addition to honoring individual staff members, we also um, honor groups of staff members who work in various ways uh, to further uh, Augsburg's mission. And this year I'm really pleased to be able to recognize two such groups. First of all, as you'll see from the slide that will appear soon, um, I want to honor the COVID task force. A remarkable group of individuals from across our campus, faculty and staff, um, continue to do their work, uh, even as we prepare for uh, navigating out of the pandemic here over the next several months. But these task force members first came together and met seven days a week for the first three weeks after we shut down in March 2020, and then met every weekday during April. And they have met two times a week all summer and throughout this academic year. Um, and with these folks representing all departments across campus, they've accomplished so much. They've covered topics from residential life to global education. They helped to coordinate the implementation of new uh, Department of Health guidelines. And in fact, many of the task force members have volunteered to serve on one of those higher ed MDH work groups to help uh, to bring guidance to us all. Uh, they made sure our campus was ready, especially for the fall 2020 start and all of the ways that they needed to respond to that, the physical setup, all of the different uh, communications that had to happen. Um, they actually have uh, had quite a good year, if you think about it, successfully monitoring um, campus case rates, and they've ex supported our students, staff, and faculty who have needed to be in quarantine and isolation. Um, they have developed a number of custom protocols that support a range of activities, including theater, music, uh, the, the labs in the Hagford Center, athletics uh, events, including our June 8th in-person commencement. Um, again, very much involved in helping to keep everybody up to date uh, with various town halls and communications. 
um, they were also responsible for managing millions of dollars of federal and emergency funds for students. And then uh, as we were in the midst of the pandemic, they helped to orchestrate the testing and vaccine events that we've had for the campus community. So this work, uh, which continues on, is just a perfect example, it seems to me, of how a group of individuals uh, who otherwise maybe did not work closely with each other, but came together and dedicated themselves to having our back, to keeping us all safe, and to making sure that Augsburg could successfully navigate through uh, this uh, crazy pandemic. And so I lift up the COVID task force and all of its members for their remarkable work and they have our great thanks uh, and certainly deserve this honor. Second, I wanna honor the information technology department. From the first hectic days of transitioning our operations to online last spring, the various teams within our IT department were out in front. They expanded our capabilities to work remotely, uh, arranging campus licenses for Zoom, which we all needed, and open training events for faculty and staff. They installed technology for a remote helpline that uh, answered questions from students, parents, faculty, and staff collaborated with our library team to make loaner laptops and Wi-Fi hotspots available to students. And they launched a new messaging system for residence life and other departments to reach students by text. And that was just the beginning. Throughout this year, the IT department has equipped Augsburg in ways that kept our community connected and learning. And throughout the hardest parts of the year, it seems not a week would go by without someone mentioning to me the excellent help of an IT staff member. I want to thank them for their extraordinary work this past year. So today we lift up the COVID task force and the information technology department for these special honors and for the ways that they have so uh, represented uh, our commitment at Augsburg to work in common community work. Congratulations. My name is Melissa Flores Hemes. I go by she, her, hers. I'm a senior here at Augsburg University and I am majoring in studio art and minoring in leadership studies. And I am here to present to you all the Staff of the Year Award. The Staff of the Year Award is an award awarded to one of our staff members here at Augsburg University, University in any department who has shown outstanding leadership, wisdom, and support to our students, and who has gone above and beyond in their role at Augsburg University. Please help me congratulate our Staff of the Year to Michael Brewey. Yes, yeah, students describe Michael ready to take on the next thing and is always doing his best to keep things in order, to stay on track, and has an exceptional job, even with COVID-19 being very difficult this year. Students describe Michael Gruy as best fit to be staff of the year because of his leadership, passion, and wisdom. We believe that Michael has done so much for Augsburg and is a great mentor. He is someone that is reliable. He has helped many orientation leaders. I just throughout the summer when the pandemic hit and had to transition from in-person to online. He has also done a great job and a really great amount of work with Augsburg Day Student Government, Emerging Leaders Program, and Campus Life, and so much more. So please help me congratulate him. Thank you so much.